Hello everyone, my name is Ira Cloud and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to do this glittery green evening smoky eye makeup look. So if you're interested how to do that, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to use Angelville Primer Skin Perfecting Primer from the NYX and I'm going to apply it on my forehead and all over my eyebrows. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. First, I'm brushing all my hairs up and drawing the line on the bottom of the brow. Then, I'm brushing my hairs down and also drawing the line on the top of the brow. Then I'm filling in the brow and also filling in the inner corner using scratching motions. I'm brushing my hairs up and down to blend the product and then I'm using the Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige and carving up my eyebrows using flat brush. I'm also carving the inner corner of the brow and blending this product in using my fingers. I'm using the brow gel, this is Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Blonde and I'm applying it on my eyebrows, starting off from the outer corner of the brow and doing the same thing on the other eyebrow. Alright, time for the eyes and I'm using scotch tape and first I'm applying the scotch tape up to the temples to make my eye shape very sharp and clean. And I'm starting off from the MAC Soft Ochre and Paint Pot eyeshadow base and applying it on the upper and the lower eyelid. Something was wrong with my camera and it didn't record it how I did my crease. So for my crease I used three colors from the Romantic Bird Professional Makeup Palette. The beige color called In the Nude, the darker beige color called Ultimate Tan and deep dark brown shade called Deep Soul. And I applied with tapping motions and blended all these shades in. I'm using the same MAC Soft Ocarim Paint Pot eyeshadow base and cutting my crease. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm cutting my crease higher than my actual crease to make my eyes look bigger. Then I'm using the black gel pencil Maybelline Tattoo Liner and applying it on the upper and the lower water lines and also filling in the gaps between the lashes on the lash lines. Then I'm using the Maybelline The Nudes palette and using the black shade from this palette and blending the pencil on the upper and the lower lash lines. And also I'm setting the pencil on my water lines with this eyeshadow to make the pencil more long-lasting and matte. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and applying it on the cut crease. Then I'm using the CMAODU Cosmetics Palette and this is the palette like the Huda Beauty palette but this is from AliExpress, this is Moss Market and I'm using dark green glitter eyeshadow and applying it on the cut crease. I applied the glitter primer to make my eyeshadow more pigmented and long-lasting. I'm applying the eyeshadow with flat brush and also with my fingertips. Once again, I'm applying the same glitter primer on the green eyeshadow and I'm using the pigment from AliExpress. This is You Can Be Pigment in the shade 8 Solo and I'm applying it on top of the green eyeshadow using flat brush. Then I'm using the black shade from the Maybelline The Nudes palette and applying it with tapping motions on the outer corner to darken and deepen the outer corner. And using the small blending brush, I'm blending the black eyeshadow together with the eyeshadow in my crease using circular motions. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner using MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I'm 
I'm drawing the wing using the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm drawing the wing only on my lash line and extending my inner corner. I'm taking off the scotch tape and doing the same thing on the other eye. I cleaned up my face from the fallout and I'm using the NYX Angelville Primer and applying it all over my face. I'm going to color correct and I'm going to use the All Around Concealer palette from Catrice Cosmetics and I'm using green corrector to hide the redness on my face. Then I'm using red corrector and applying it under my eyes and also on the areas where I have blueness and veins. I'm blending the product in using my fingertips to warm this product. Then I'm using three colors of the skin from the same palette and applying it on the same places where I color correct. I'm using flat brush. Also, I'm applying the corrector on my nose. I'm blending this in once again using my fingertips. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hours Matte Cover Foundation in the shade 110 Rose Vanilla and applying it only on the one part of my face and blending it very quickly using damp beauty blender because this foundation mollifying very quickly. Then I'm applying it on my forehead and blending it in once again using damp beauty blender. I'm using the NYX HG Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade CW00 and applying it with triangle shape under my eyes. Then I'm using the Max Factor Pan Stick Concealer in the shade True Beige and I'm applying it on my blemishes and blending it very quickly because I apply it on the matte foundation. I'm cleaning up the shape of the eye and blending the concealer under my eyes. I'm using the Silk Edition Touch-Up Bourjois Paris Universal Powder. This is transparent powder and I'm applying it all over my face. First, I'm setting the under eye area and then I'm setting my whole face. I'm using the Inglot Sculpting Powder in the shade 510 and I'm contouring my face. First, I'm contouring my cheeks. Then I'm contouring my chin. Also, I'm contouring my forehead and I'm contouring my nose. Also, I'm contouring my upper and lower lip to make my lips look fuller. I'm using the Bourjois Paris blush in the shade 54 Rose Frison. And I'm applying it on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on the chin. For bronzer, I'm using the Maybelline The City Bronzer in the shade 250 Medium Warm or on the same places where I contour my face. I'm using the MAC Mattifying Fix Plus with powder and after that, I'm using the MAC C18 Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I'm applying the highlighter before the setting spray dries out to make my highlighter more pigmented. I'm applying it on my cheeks, on the tip of the nose, on the bridge of the nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and on the top lip. And also a little bit on the brow bone. I'm using the deep dark brown color called Deep Soul from the same eyeshadow palette and I'm applying it using small blending brush on the lower lash line and blending it with the highlighter shade called Ultimate Tan. I'm applying the lash primer from the Dior on the upper and the lower eyelashes. And then I'm applying the Yves Saint Laurent Noir Radical Mascara on the upper and the lower eyelashes. I'm applying the primer and the mascara on the both sides of the lashes. And using the spoolie to brush my lashes. 
and after mascara dries out, I'm curling my lashes with curler. And then I'm applying the fake eyelashes. Don't forget to use mascara right after you applied fake eyelashes. And also don't forget to use the eyeliner to hide the line from the lashes. Time for lips and I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer and applying it all over my lips. Then I'm applying the NYX Sweet Matte Lip Liner in the shades SMLL 31 Cans and I'm lining my lips and filling them in. And I'm using the nude lipstick. This is Porsche Paris Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 7 Nude Est. And I'm applying it all over my lips. Alright guys, and that was glittery evening smoky eye makeup look. If you enjoyed watching this video, you had fun with me or you found it useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye!